Welcome Hello. back. <laughs> it's great to have you here. Thank it really you. is. Thanks for having me back. We'll just brag about you for a second. You're going to sell three million copies of this mm -hmm. album this week. 2.6 million downloads of Hello. 1.1 uh. million in like a week. Oh. You make all your own clothes. You're a black belt in judo. <laughs> <laughs> you cook really well. How do you get your arms around all this? It's um, it's pretty overwhelming, but it's um, it's incredible, you know. And this, the reaction getting here this morning and everyone being here is so beautiful. It's so nice. And Del said to me in the commercial break, she says, "I've been here like three times before, and no one was ever outside. <laughs> <laughs> and now this place is packed." You, but they must be so cold. I, I don't, I don't think they mind, to be honest with you. You said that the success of Twenty One was scary. Yeah. So is it less scary this time around? I feel like I kind of knew what I was getting into this time. Not that I expected this kind of reaction, but I, because I'd experienced the success of 21, I was a little less frightened this time because, you know, when it happened on 21, I was clueless. Like, it never happened to me before. Um, so I felt a bit more prepared for it this time, yeah. And also I've got a kid, which is the most grounding thing, as I'm sure any parent will know. Yeah, I want to talk about Angelo in a second. But after 21, you took time. And then when you sat down, you've been very open about this, to start writing songs for this album. You had a pretty severe case of writer's block. Yeah. You said that you, you couldn't write songs from the same place that you were for 21. Yeah. Did you start to worry that you could only write music from an unhappy place? Yeah, and I, I, I think that is the case. Um, and I think it's just a way of channeling it. I don't think sadness is always devastating. It can be quite uplifting and joyful as well. And sometimes you have to let yourself be sad in order to move forward so once I sort of started looking at it like that I was quite happy to do it and I didn't I felt like I didn't need to let myself go this time in order to access my creativity so that was good. I, I talked to you for a few minutes at Radio City the other day and you told me Angelo is a key factor in how happy you are right now. You've had time to dedicate to him hmm. in between these two albums since he's been born. Do you get concerned at all that now with the explosion of this album that you're going to have to get back on that career treadmill and have less time to dedicate to him? Um, no, my son comes everywhere with me. We're all good. Like, we're tight. He's the first person I see in the morning and the last person that I see at night and vice versa. So we're all good. And um, I make time for him like I always have. That's one of the main reasons that I've been away for so long is because I was like, no, I'm, my kid is more important, you know, and and my kid comes first and my music comes second and I come second, you know, so. A lot of us were at Radio City the other night when you held your concert, first concert in several years. I was so relieved. Well, well tell me how nervous you are because I watched as that curtain parted. Yeah. And you were standing there and you saw that crowd. I was trying to be like deadpan, like, trying to be like, you know, a diva or something like that and I couldn't. And it, I saw the crowd and I just melted. I was so happy to be there. I was very, very nervous. After like the second or third song, I was chilled. I was all right. I what do you What that. do you like when you get nervous? Do you get fidgety? Do you walk around? Fidgety. You... I moan. I complain. I try and <laughs> escape. Like I try and get out. Um, like belch. I mean, like every level. <laughs> every, I never I, heard I'm about that. to do it. So I'm like so nervous about singing this early in the morning. I'd be like, <laughs> like backstage. You said during the concert. You said something I really thought was so sweet. You said it was the first time that your boyfriend. Yeah had ever had the chance to see you perform in concert. Yeah, the first time he saw me was at the Grammys, which was the first time I opened my mouth to sing after my surgery. So everyone was just sort of holding on. But yeah, it was, it was the first sh my whole show that he'd seen and he loved it and it was such a great moment. So he approved. He approved. <laughs> Even it, if it was rubbish, I think he'd approve. It would have been a deal ender otherwise. <laughs> By the way, that wasn't the best I've ever seen you. Um, I watched <laughs> something on, on television, on a, online actually the other day that you did, I think it was for the BBC. Yeah. Where you you disguised yourself, yeah, yeah, and you went to an audition for Adele impersonators. Yes. First of all, you're a very good actress. Oh, uh, thank you. No, I mean it. Thank I you thought very you much. were incredibly natural. What was this like for you? It was amazing. They'd asked me to judge it, and I was like, no, 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 I want to be in it. I was like, I want to be an impersonator. <laughs> it was amazing. Nothing had quite prepared me for walking towards like ten other girls like dressed up as me. That was pretty overwhelming, but the whole thing was funny, but it was also really, really beautiful. Like, And I cried a lot during the whole thing at the end, once I revealed myself. I, I thought, first of all, the disguise... But my accent was so obvious. I think she'd like him. I said something <laughs> like that, and I was like, oh my God. You so had a nervous. fake nose on. Fake chin. Fake chin. I think the funny thing is, could you have imagined 10 years ago 
that there would be auditions for Adele impersonators. No, never, never, never. There's a drag queen in LA that I really want to see. He looks amazing. He does a really good job. But this, now that I've done that, it's like opened a whole new world to me, and I want to find all of him. You, you are going to sing a song in just a little while on the show. Can you quick, quickly tell me the backstory of the song? Because it's really sweet. Yeah, I'm um, singing a million years ago in a little while. And um, it's about, there used to be this park in South London that me and all of my friends used to go to all the time. And we just, you know, hang out and chat about everything and, you know, big things and small things and flippant things and stuff like that. And I drove past it. Um, months ago now and I just burst into tears because none of us were there and it wasn't just me that couldn't be there none of us could be there because we all have lives and we're all adults now it's an emotional song you're gonna yeah. sing it after a break try. Uh, we're going to go into rehearsal in just a minute here. Hey, Lee. 